Should you convert your personal home to a, an investment property or a rental property? I'm Tim Pierce with The Pierce Group and this is one of my favorite topics to, to discuss, which is long-term wealth building with real estate. And basically I'm gonna give you, you know, two sides of the coin here. So four reasons why, uh, you know, possibly converting it to a rental property makes a lot of sense and four reasons when it may not. And it, it totally depends on the situation. So let's start with why you may not want to convert it into a rental property. Uh, and then we'll dive into why you should. So uh, first four reasons is, you know, when you might not want to do something like that is number one, your mindset around being a landlord is negative. You're concerned. Um, you're not comfortable with the concept. You're worried about getting in contact with contractors when something goes wrong. Um, I challenge you on that though. I really do think that, you know, there's great management companies out there. There are people that can help you with those things. Um, and, uh, and I think that's an easy one to address. The second is maybe you're relocating a couple thousand miles away and owning a rental property that far away can make you know make you un uncomfortable it's uh it's it's a lot to manage that from that kind of distance and again with a management company i think you can address that issue but that's a pretty legitimate concern being that far away from if you just own one property in another market that can be concerning and that's a legitimate concern um, thirdly uh, maybe there's not enough equity in your property and you need to go buy another property. And so if that's the case, you know, the ability to refinance the property, pull cash out just isn't there. And maybe that doesn't make a lot of sense either. And then lastly, the numbers just don't make sense. The market for rent uh, just isn't there to really support it. Uh, even at a break even positive cash flow situation, you know, um, maybe the HOA fees are far too high or the tax situation is far too high and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so let's talk real quick about when it could make a lot of sense for you to just hold on to that property, hold it long term uh, and, and uh, make it part of your investment portfolio. So number one, it is the, the least path of resistance to becoming a real estate investor. Let's face it, you already own the property, you're gonna simply convert it to a rental property. It's not that hard to do, and you've already got it financed and done. So it's a really great way to enter the market as an investor. I did this personally on, a, on my first couple of homes, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, it made a huge difference, uh, in a, and it will long-term as well. Um, more flexibility. So more flexibility around, you know, there's a lot of moving parts when you're selling your home and you need to go buy another home. And a lot to coordinate and there's way more flexibility when you're simply just renting your house and you want to convert and then, then you want to actually go buy another house. You've got some flexibility around that, the timing of it, you've got more control over. It's just an easier way to transition to another home. Um, attractive interest rates. As a primary homeowner, primary residence, you're gonna have really attractive interest rates versus investor rates. That's a great way to enter the real estate investing game at a super low rate and rent the property out and probably get more cash flow than you would otherwise. Um, and then lastly, I tell you, you know, it is the greatest path, in my opinion, to building long-term wealth, passive income uh, in the future. And, um, and then also take advantage of some tax benefits, depreciation and things like that. Of course, we advise that you talk to your, your CPA and get you know counsel on that. We're not CPAs, we're real estate professionals, but I truly believe in this and I, I believe that sometimes it doesn't make sense for you to sell your house. Sometimes it makes sense to hold it and then go buy something else, particularly in a market like ours where our rents are so attractive from a landlord perspective. So we're always here for you. We believe in it being your advisor. And uh, we're gonna tell you, hey, you know, if this is something that interests you, we can help you evaluate that and see if it makes sense. And uh, we wanna be that for you. So if you ever have any questions, please reach out to us. If you know somebody that would benefit from this video, please share it with them and uh, reach out to us anytime, we'd love to help. Thanks so much for checking out our video.